Howdy people, Sigtoid here. And I haven't said that in a long while now, have I? You have probably noticed that not much has been going on on my channel lately. In fact, it has been well over a year since the last time I uploaded. Given that the release date of D2 Resurrected is right around the corner, I figured it would be a good time to break the ice and answer some of the questions people have been hurling at me. To be honest, it has been pretty rough for me lately. I've had some issues with my personal health, and I think during this last summer I was dealing with healthcare professionals more than in the past 10 years of my life combined. And no, it wasn't COVID. And no, I am not dying, so there's no need to worry about me. But I'm not exactly in tip-top shape either. I've certainly been better. I am currently not playing Diablo 2. My relationship with D2 has always been so that I occasionally pick it up and play it like a madman for a while. Then I burn myself out with it, move on to something else and then return to it later with restored passion. This has been my relationship with the game since 2001, since when Lord of Destruction was released and I wouldn't be surprised if it would go on like that until the day I die. I actually haven't been doing a whole lot of gaming recently. For those of you who don't know, my passion more so than gaming is fiction and storytelling. I am a huge consumer of books, movies, TV shows and pen and paper RPGs. And those have definitely been taking a bigger chunk of my personal time than video gaming lately. Basically, the only video game I'm currently playing is Guild Wars 2. My girlfriend got me hooked on that in 2020, and it has been a pretty persistent part of my life ever since. It's not a perfect game by any means, but it has had all the things I've been looking for lately to scratch the occasional gaming and RPG related itch. Now I am happy that the game is getting a remaster, definitely. But I am also not very confident in the quality of the work just yet. The release date they've said looks very unreasonable to me. The game that I have seen so far looks to be far away from finished, and currently I'm afraid that it will literally just be an inferior version of something that we have had for years. Diablo 2 is one of my favorite games of all time, so unless the remaster will turn out to be a complete disgrace, which I doubt, I will purchase it at some point. But I will definitely wait a couple of months until after release for them to iron out all the box and make sure that the game is in a playable state. Sadly, my faith in Blizzard products ain't what it once used to be. When I pick up the game again, there is a very high chance that I will be making more videos. Making videos was what kept me going with the game for many many months, even after getting to level 99 and after completing the Holy Grail challenge. And those were quite time consuming things to do. Completing the Holy Grail was probably the most insane accomplishment I've ever done in any video game. But yeah, I find talking about the game really enjoyable and I find sharing information about it to be really rewarding. And making videos, it does give me a good excuse to do those things. I can see that people are still watching my old videos and that brings me a lot of joy. If I have managed to help someone out or inspired someone to try out some of the wackier builds in the game, I consider my channel a success. Even though I'm currently not playing the game, I still do my best to answer people's questions posted in the comments. YouTube doesn't seem to give me notifications for all of them, so sometimes a question will slip by unanswered, but I definitely do my best to help out people when needed. I cannot give you guys any guarantees or any kind of schedule for more D2 videos. I know that is probably not the kind of answer some of you are hoping to hear, but please bear in mind that my channel has always been a passion project for me. And if the passion is not there, I do not want to force out half-assed videos that I do not enjoy making. My goal has never been to make money or to build internet fame or anything like that. I'm doing this for fun. 
Now that you have heard the news related to that, you are of course free to unsubscribe if that is what you wish to do. On the other hand, a YouTube subscription doesn't really cost you anything. So if you do want to catch my potential future videos, staying subscribed will probably give you a better chance of noticing them. I think that was about all I wanted to say for now. Take care guys, I hope everyone will stay healthy.